everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Over the last few episodes we've been basically preparing to build a fission reactor. So today we're going to assemble one. I'm not going to break down the one I've got there because it's attached to a lot of um, nuclear waste so I don't want to do anything with that. Anyway, let's get started. So in my inventory I've got some reactor casings, I've got some control rod assemblies, I've got some reactor glass, I've got some uh, fission fuel assemblies, which is 15. This is basically what generates the power. Uh, I've got some logic adapters and I've got some uh, reactor ports. The reactor ports are left to basically put water in, water out and get rid of um, nuclear waste. So let's get set up a little bit here. So what I've got set up here is a hole. So we're going to fill in the hole to start with at the bottom. We'll basically build the frame. We'll build it exactly the same as this, but we'll put it one block lower down. Which I'll show you why we put it one block lower down. Difficult to move as it happens with these reactors once you've set one up. I think the reactor is okay. It's just that the nuclear waste is dangerous. Okay, so that's a 5x5 five five base. Let's go and set up the sides here. And I'm going to get up. In this particular case, this is a fairly small reactor. It's only it can produce um, a reasonable amount of steam, but not that much steam. In fact, it's almost the smallest of the practical sizes. So let's just go up. How many blocks I want to go up? One, two, three, four, six blocks up. So I want five. Okay. And then we can just link these across. You have to have a frame. In all the all of mechanisms, machines, you have to have a frame of whatever it is you're building. So in this particular case, we're building a fission reactor. So we need a, a fission um, casings all the way around the sides like this. You, you don't have to put it in the bottom there. We could, I have chosen to do it because it sort of looks prettier, I suppose. And then we could put a, on the top here some reactor glass. So what we could do with the reactor glass, we'll just put it into our offhand here. And then we'll, we'll use the... Um, Wand. Now that's actually going to go into the wrong place. So maybe it's better if I put this down now, it's not going to be great. So let's just put it down by hand. I should be able to put those up. Why can't I right click this in here? Yeah. Shift right click it. I can shift right click it on. So that's the top done. And then in the middle of this, we're going to, oh, I should probably do this first as it happens, but we can reach it anyway. We'll put in these uh, piston fuel assembly. And we need spaces between each of the blocks so what i'm doing is like this i'll do a pattern of five um you could of course use a pattern of four with the outside but you don't want the box to actually touch so let's just actually what i'll do is i'll use the rod um, the wand in this case because you can use the wand on these oops no i can't <laughs> not with that in my offhand sorry let's just take these out of my offhand here and then break up the glass i should be able to just break it up like that yeah can't good That's the five. And then we put on top of this the rod assembly. So like this. We could actually do the same thing. Put that into our hand, use the rod, and it should just put up the five that we want in that pattern like this. As you can see. The reactor glass I've actually been, it's been picked up and put into here. So let's just take that back out again. So we just need to build up the sides now with reactor glass, which we will do. But we also need some ports in here. So you may notice in here I have got two ports. I've actually got three of these fission reactor logic adapters. And on this side here I have got three ports. Um, this one is taking water out and going in. It's actually coming back as it happens. Water is coming in here and then that's the coolant. It's one of the two coolants we can use. This one here is where the steam comes out. This is a high pressure. Um, it's an ultimate pressure tube. And this one here is a basic pressure tube which is actually feeding the fission fuel. So press shift on this, you see the fission fuel comes in here like this. What we can do is put a tank on top of this and we can generate some fission fuel. And we'll use a little bit of that into the, in the system. So I think I've got in my backpack here, I've got a, an advanced chemical tank. Okay, I'll put this advanced chemical tank on here like this and that should fill up with fission fuel as you can see. That's now full. So we just need to fill this in with uh, the sides in there with glass, which I haven't done yet. Let's just do that. So we need to put the reactor ports in as well. Let's do those as well. Oh, I need four of these. 
I need one for the uh, output. So we'll put them in here like this. And I need one for the waste to come out. And I didn't do that one. I'm, I'm probably got it, I probably haven't got it made up. Or maybe I have got it made up. Uh, let's have a look if I've got it, one made up. So let's have a look for mechanism reactor. They're not in here. I think these will probably be in this gold chest I've got down here. Yeah. And I knew we needed four, and I don't know why I didn't have one with me. So we, it doesn't matter where we put this one. We'll put it in the middle like that. Let me just fill the rest up with glass. Let's just do that quickly. And the same on this side. It's actually reasonably simple, these machines. As it happens. I thought they were actually a lot more complicated. But once you've actually done one, you, you know it's um, fairly straightforward. But I could, in fact, use the wand in this case. And some over here. I wonder if I've got enough glass with me. Because uh, I've... Oh, yes, I've got enough glass. No, no, I haven't. <laughs> so what we're going to do over here is we're going to put the redstone control in here. So let's just break off two of these. Oops, I broke up too much, as you can see. I just need to put one of those down. But I'll do that in a second. Okay, so what we need is the two ports we've got here. I'll put one in that and then I need to put this one back down over here so those will be in my backpack of course everything get getting picked up into this backpack um I'll put this down first it's fuel assembly and then we can put in the last couple piece of glass here but let's put in this reactor port here so like that and that should unless I broke something else up it hasn't formed I'm not sure why um I didn't break up underneath it, did I? Nope. Oh, of course, I've got this piece of glass missing. I knew there was one. I should have had one left, shouldn't I? And now you get the red smoke signal, and that means it's formed. So now you can right-click it, and you can see what you've got. So let's put, let's give it some fuel, first of all. So we'll use a, the basic pressure tubes for doing that one. And they are that's ultimate pressure tubes. Basic pressure tubes. So I'll put this one down here, because like it doesn't take a lot of fuel, it doesn't need a lot of fuel into this. And then we can put in on here the tank that we've picked up. That should be, oh, probably in the backpacker. Okay, so this has got, so this is advanced, it actually looks, oh, you see, it looks like a black bar, but it actually means it's full. So let's put this on top of here. Like that. And you can see that the out this is going out and therefore the fission fuel is coming into here as you can see and that will be filled up now before i go into doing anything else we're going to set up this redstone redstone is fairly straightforward this port here is set to high temperature and this port here is set to activation so we'll do that on the other side so when it's getting a redstone signal it should activate it Unless you've, unless you've manually set it to, if you look right here, you've got scram. So I've set it off. We'll come to that in a second. And this here is simply a redstone latch, because as soon as it reaches high temperature, I want it to stay off and not come back on again when it cools down, because that generally means there's a problem, and you need to fix that problem before you start. So what I need is some redstone torches. Let's get rid of that one. And we also need some... I don't think I've got any in the... Oh, I've got some... Back, yes, I've got some in here, but let's get some redstone torches out. I'm not sure where I've got those. Let's just have a look. Let's craft... I need two. Good. And we need some blocks in order to put the redstone on. So let's just... Actually, let's press escape. It's night time. I might get attacked, but I'm prepared. I've got my bow in my second slot here. So let's put down, for example, first of all, we'll set this one up to be high temperature. And then we'll set this port up to be activation. Of course, we also need to 
I'm not going to put water into it yet. I want it to I want it to go high temperature, but we do need to get rid of the waste. So let's put beside this here a um basic pressure tube. Like this, and we have to change these ports. So this at the moment is an input port. So if we take this configurator here and we shift right click this port, it will then become an output waste. As you can see, it says here it's output waste. Now the waste needs to go into these reactive uh, waste barrels. So let's let's make sure we've got a waste barrel ready. I don't think I have as it happens. Let's craft up one of these. They don't take a long, they're just bits of lead, as you saw. There's, one, <laughs> there's somebody down here. There was somebody down here, right, good. So we'll just put this down below, this barrel down below here, somewhere like that. And then we can feed into the top of this the, the waste. So let's put that down here. And one thing you do need to do, make sure you've got this, is you need a hazmat suit. Very cheap, not too bad. Let's have a look at the recipes for this because it's basically just lead with orange. So a standard pattern for this plus one orange piece. So if you look at that's a head, that's a helmet. The recipe for the chest piece is exactly the same. Again, orange with lead. So that's the lead's in the standard pattern for a chest piece. Um, the pants, let's look at the recipe for those. So as you can see, pant recipe plus orange. And of course, the uh, the boots are going to be... You do have orange in it, but at the bottom. So you don't see the orange of those. And if you're playing with this stuff at all, make sure you build one of these. If you get caught by... Um, if you get caught by radiation, you die. It's almost inevitable. You can actually get around it. Anyway, so let's carry on with this. So we'll feed out of here now. This is an output port like this. And this will be the input like that. And they actually not, it's not a drop like this. So you can see that it's actually going to connect in. Um, so this is the, basically this part. That's going to this um, knot. Uh, this is basically coming a knot gate. So, so we come here, this gets a signal here. And then this gets inverted, so it's activating it. So we will get an activated signal when we put this block down. So let's put that block down um, here. And then we need to activate this with a redstone, uh, a redstone torch. We'll put one on each side. In fact, I only need one to start with like this. And then and then we can put down another redstone dust here. And as soon as I do that, it'll activate this. And it will scrap and it'll temperature will go up very high very quickly. So this will be producing nuclear waste, but it's got no coolant in. So it should go up and it should stop. And we, wa we watch this go up and we'll, as soon as it goes up, we'll scram it. As you can see, the temperature is rising steadily. And the actual fuel rate is normally set to the lowest level here, which is 0.1 millibuckets. The higher the fuel rate, the faster this will go. And as soon as it does this, you'll see the redstone torch go off. I'm not... I think it's about a thousand or twelve hundred when it stops going like this. I'm going to let it go up and turn itself off, and then it'll and then it'll start to cool down. As you can see, it's gone up to one hundred four now. To make this go faster, I just increase the fuel rate, but I don't want to just yet. It might be one point two. There we go. Now it does. Now it behaves like this, and I don't want it to behave like this. So let's turn it off. In fact, it flashed, it it broke the redstone torch. Fine. Okay. Let's make sure this is scrammed off now. So it's, turned, it's disabled. So it's got a redstone signal here which should activate it, but it's disabled. It's the, redstone, the rising redstone pulse which will fix this. So we could put another redstone torch here like this. And then we could take the output of this redstone torch, which is basically the latch, like this. And you come round here and you feed it back in. You'll see how I'm doing it here. It's coming back into this. It comes actually two blocks. It comes into another redstone bricks with another redstone torch on it. So let's do that. The brick should be here, one block to the right hand side of it, like this. Oops, wrong one. Try again. So we need this 
this redstone to come into here like this it should uh come in here as soon as you put the redstone torch on. i might need to put the redstone torch on first i'm not sure oh let me see my bag no it didn't where did the redstone torch go to oh i need a third one <laughs> sorry let's just quickly make one of those i should have that here Maybe I should do it like this. Right, that's now pointing into this. And this torch, of course, is then off. So this then comes out of here, one block here, like this, and then goes back into here, like that. So when you put a button onto here, so let's make a button. I haven't got a piece of stone with me. Let's just quickly do that. I, I don't think I've got any stone will do. I don't tend to have very many buttons made. So 200 and it's one of these. Let's just craft that into here. And we get a button. Then we can put the button on here like this. And when I press this button, it should reset the thing. It hasn't done. I've got this wrong. So a quick look. All right. I'm supposed to go back into the middle of here. Sorry. So all that needs to do is come into here, like that. I think I must have this too far over. Yes, I have. It's supposed to be in the same line as this. So the redstone torch is supposed to be in the same blocks. Okay, no big deal. Break that up. Break that up and then put the block down here. And then we can put the torch back onto it. I've got to get it out to my bag, of course, because it'll have disappeared in there. Let's pick up these three bits in here, or four bits. Put the torch on here, like that. And then this will then connect in properly, as, as I hope it should do. Do that. So now that's gone off, because this is coming in here. We need to put a, a torch, a button onto this place here. I'm not sure if this is going to connect in. Well, maybe I have to move it one block away. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it will do if I do it to the side. Okay, that's. let's just do it like this then. And then remove these. We don't need these bits of redstone here. So that's, that's, so that's off, as you can see. And this is on. And when I press the button here, it's going to activate the reactor again. Okay. Now, the reactor is going to warm up again. So, so, and, in fact, it's warming up a lot faster this time. But let's make it go faster. I set this to point 0.2. And have a look at this time. Yes, the temperature is rising up much quicker. So 1.2, it should go off and stay off. That's the intention. There we go. And it stays off this time. So the temperature will drop down slowly. And then it would be able to be reactivated again. But this temperature is slowly dropping down. Of course, it's good. And it's dropping down because it's got no coolant in here. Um... So the next thing would be to connect up the coolant. So what I'm going to do now, as you'll see here, there should be some waste in this. There's some nuclear waste in here. The nuclear waste we cannot move. So if you break this here, you will get basically nuclear. Um, <laughs> you'll, be, you'll get radiac, what's it called? Ra radiation poisoning. And it goes away very slowly. So this will actually slowly disappear. So what you can do with this is then you can put this through a solar neutron activator. Here it would come in nuclear waste, as you, as you can see. And outside goes into these tanks here as nuclear spent waste. So if you press shift on these, this is a gas sp spent nuclear waste. And this will then go disappear very slowly. As you can see how high these levels are. <laughs> I've been running this for a while. So that's 40 and 41. So 4,041. In one minute's time, that will be 4,040. So it's going down one millibucket per minute. In other words, it's going to take a very long time to get rid of these. And what I found out is they actually do distribute nicely. So you can put them down like this in a long row. 
and you can put on it, it doesn't matter where I've used ultimate pressure tubes and you could use any of you want you want, as far as I'm sure, aware, and that will slowly, it'll get spread to each one of these. So one millibucket will get put into each one as it goes along. Here we have uh, this nucleon, solely a neutral activator, and that's feeding into here polonium. So polonium comes in here. Then with some fluorite dust, you will get some polonium pellets, which is, these are basically the thing you need. So we'll look at the rest uses of that. So this is the thing that allows you to do um, SPS casings, which is also the supercharged coil is also required for that. It also allows uh, Metasuit helmets. And I think it's Metasuits. You can make, now start to make a Metasuit with all of these bits. Maybe I'm wrong. There's quite a few recipes. Oh, yes. So we can make the Mecha, Metas, Mecha Suit with these. And then the rest of which is not too difficult. We can cope with all the rest. We covered PDF HDPE sheets last time. So that's fine. And... And then you can also make these charging distribution units, all sorts of things which are really there for the, your mecha suit. So that's what that's all about, as you can see, boots as well. They require uh, netherite boots, which isn't too difficult. The other construction over I've got over this side is to make plutonium pellets. This is water plus plu plutonium. Plutonium is made from the isotropic centrifuge. So in here comes nuclear waste and out would go um, plutonium. Plutonium plus um, fluoride dust and water will make plutonium pellets. And the use of the plutonium pellets are really just for the SPS cases. I think we need about 64 of those. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are to check. But at the moment I've connected it up so that the gas doesn't come into here when we run this. So all of the gas is coming into the solar nutrient activator but simply right clicking this will then connect in and then it'll start to produce plutonium as well so that's how that works in fact that's it for this episode i think next episode we're going to build the um uh the turbine and it's going to be water cooled turbine and then maybe a future episode will increase the size of these and then put in a thermal cooling plant which uses sodium So, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.